Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. I have a very special guest today I'm going to be going out hoarding up with today. He's going to be coming by in a few minutes. We're going to be heading off to Best Buy and Fry's in a special place a little bit later on in this video. But guys, let's go off to Best Buy because I heard they have $4.99 Blu-rays today. Let's go off and find out what they are. Alright guys, we're over here at Best Buy right now, and I bet you guys are all wondering who is the special guest today? Is it Andrew? Is it Jose? Is it Gabriel? No! It is Danny! It's me! Hey, What's up? One, One half of the stock. Yeah, that's all I can say. The other half ain't here, but... Yeah, well, where's here. Chris, man? He can't make it. He has like, um, like it was like a work thing, so yeah. he can't really make it tonight. So that's the reason why. So. Yeah, but we're over here at Best Buy right now. It's mm -hmm. Tuesday. It's hoarding day. Is there anything that came out today that you're interested in? I'm open for anything. I'll just go see. I'm at, the, I'm at the legendary Best Buy where you go to. I'm here now with you. Yeah, man. It's pretty cool. So let's head on in there and see what we see. All right, guys. We're in Best Buy right now. Let's take a look at some of the new ones that came out today. You get Captain Phillips for $24.99. I know it's probably a really good one, a good movie, but I don't want to spend $25 bucks just to find out if it's just okay. You know what I mean? It looks like one of those movies that I watch once and I... Uh, Probably don't watch it again for a long, long time, you know? But yeah, Best Buy also has a lot of those uh, 4 dollars uh, Fox titles up there on Blu-ray. I might be getting one of them, not quite sure uh, yet. But also, another thing that came out today was, uh, you know, Machete Kills, and we got Charlie Countryman, which was really cool. And uh, I want to see this one, Inner World, about uh, the voiceover artist. Looks really kind of interesting. I, I might be grabbing that one today, not quite sure. But I know Danny is over here uh, looking at the Blu-rays over here, huh? See what they got? Yeah. A whole lot, but no. We'll look around and see what they have, you know? I, I, I want to wait for the trade and save to come back to grab a couple of these, yeah, you know the what best, I mean? That's the best deal to do it like that. Mm -hmm. Is that coming up pretty soon? Who knows, but the, this this right here, the Sony uh, stand used to be buy one, get one free, but now it's just yeah, 10 yeah. bucks each, you know? But that's pretty much all they have in here right now. We'll probably be heading on over to Fry's and see what they got. All right, guys, we're over here at Fry's right now. Danny and I are about to go in there to see if they have any good deals going on. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't find anything at Best Buy. I looked at some of those 4.99 Fox titles. I was I was holding the Rocky Horror Picture Show, but I just know it's gonna be one of those ones. If I buy it, it's gonna be sitting around for like two or three years before I open it. You know? <laughs> oh man, yep. I know what you mean, man. Yeah. <laughs> but I really want Captain Phillips. If it's like 20 bucks or less, I might I might grab it. But who knows? Oh, Let's just try not to get hit by a car before we uh, <laughs> walk in there. You know? <laughs> Off the fries we go! Alright guys, me and Danny over here in fries right now, looking at the horror section. Danny's always grabbing stuff over here. What do you see? Uh, or well, this is, uh, maybe I'll get this. It's four bucks. Oh, nice. When a killer calls and happy birthday to maybe, me. Yeah, I might do it. No. I, I, think, I think that happy birthday to me has the original music in it. Because I believe the previous DVD of it mm. had like different music that they changed or something. Oh, wow. I think that's I their that. original music. Okay, maybe I'll get that. Wait, four bucks. Can't yeah. go wrong. That's what I'm talking about. This place is always a lot better than Best Buy. It looks like there's like this one aisle has more Blu-rays to pick from than Best Buy store has, you know? At least recently, for some reason. I don't know what's going on with Best Buys. But uh, there's really nothing super new that came out today that I really need to jump on, you know what I mean? I want to see Batteries Not Included and Captain Phillips, but those ones look more like rental movies to me, you know what I mean? Like ones I would just go out there, red box it or something, even though I never went to red box in my life. Have you? I have. Yeah? Actually, yeah, I have. I'm sorry, I have. Yeah, is, is, it, a, is it a good thing or do they, what's yeah. like the late charges? It's like a dollar or something. The like, same price as it costs to rent it yeah, for a day? Yeah, same price. Yeah, I just charge you next to dollar. Yeah, I, I've keeping. never done it. I'm, I'm like a, a blockbuster boy I'm, or I'm a guy that goes to the old school it's rental shops. The old school rental shops are the best though. Yeah. The best. Can't beat it. But I also want to let you guys all know, um, you know that $105 uh, Best Buy certificate I had? I went nuts on BestBuy.com and bought a whole bunch of stuff. And I'll do an unboxing of what I got from their website when I, uh, when I get it in. So you guys can all see what I got for 105 bucks. Hell yeah. But uh, guys, me and Danny are going to be heading on out of here. Alright guys, we're out of fries right now. Me and Danny, we're going to tell you where we're heading off to now. We're going to the New Beverly Cinema, right? Yes, we are. See a double screen of Just Before Dawn. 
and Madman. Oh hell yeah, mm -hmm. dude! That's, I think that's uh, Wes Vance or Dead Pit's one of his favorite horror movies of it's all actually, time. Oh, sick. Madman, yeah, yeah, I have that old uh, Anchor Bay DVD. I Me think too. This, I yeah. get that too, man. Things badass. But it's, it's gonna be cool to see it on the big screen. So mm -hmm. we're gonna be going down to New Bev to check out the new, you know, the Grindhouse double feature, or horror double feature, yeah, whatever it's called. I think it's like eight bucks to go see two movies on the big screen. Great it's, deal. Yeah, man, it's gonna be kind of fun. But right now, we're gonna show you guys what we hoarded up on, just in case we forget later on tonight, because we're gonna be seeing those two movies. We might get blitzed out of our minds and totally forget <laughs> what you know, what, what what to show you. Yeah, but right. yeah, so Danny, do you want to show what you picked up sure. in there? This is, I just got this. Um, let's get this. It was like a double feature, only four dollars. So, oh yeah, yeah. No. When a stranger calls and uh, happy birthday. Forget what the hell, four bucks. I'll get it. You know. What the it's hell, right? Blu-ray. It's cool. Yeah, man. All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys what I hoarded up on in there. All I got was a, a big bottle of water because we're going to be taking like a little road trip to get to the movies for a minute. And I also picked up Psycho 3 here on Blu-ray. It was $22.99. I just really wanted to see it. You know what I mean? I haven't seen this one in a long time. It's a Shout Factory release. They have some decent special features on here like interviews and commentaries and stuff like that. Directed by Anthony Perkins himself. Haven't seen this one in a long time. Got to do it, you know? But right now, guys, me and Danny are heading off to the movies. Let's okay. go. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're over here at the New Beverly Cinema right now for the horror movie double feature tonight. It's gonna be fun as hell. Hell yeah, man! He's brought his DVD, one or two DVDs to get signed up in there. I did. It's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy, man. It's gonna be awesome because the uh, director from Just Before Dawn will be here, Jeff Lieberman. So I'm gonna get that shit signed yeah. and buy the uh, Blu-ray of his movie Remote Control, which is very limited right now. Oh hell yeah, dude! And it's the first that. time I've been here that there's actually a line to, to get up in there. Like they haven't started selling their tickets yet. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. A little mini line. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I've never seen it happen like that over it's here. It's cool. It's fun. Yeah, let's go in there and see what we capture. All right, guys, we just got out of seeing just before dawn. Me and Danny were sitting there having a good time, having a few laughs, and then when another special guest mm -hmm. came wandering next to us, and here he comes now. How you doing, Jose? Uh, hey, everybody. Wait, what you two guys up to? Uh, well, we were just you know cuddling during the movie. That's what yeah. We're doing, you know, the little cuddling time. It was right the first there. time we met, and uh, yeah. so whenever I meet somebody, I like to cuddle. Yeah. As you know. <laughs> I saw you guys stick your hand both in the popcorn uh, bucket at the same time, so you guys yeah, both got buttered up. Uh, hold the bottom, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys honestly think about Just Before Dawn? The, I, I think this is probably the second time I've seen this movie in my entire life. And I didn't really remember much of it when I went in there. And there's some of it that really dragged and was kind of boring. What about you guys? What do you guys think? I like it. You know, it's not a body count movie. It's, uh, it's it's not a Friday the Thirteenth Kill Fest kind of a thing. It's uh, it's a slow, suspenseful Hitchcockian kind of a thing. The kills happen sporadically. There's really only four, five kills, mm -hmm. yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, and they're not that they're not that violent or uh, graphic. Yeah. Some of them are. Yeah. Um, I, I I like that the. That doesn't make it a bad movie though. Yeah. I like the first kill right at the beginning of the movie with the machete. Oh yeah. And yeah. then that last thing with the hand. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Right the uh, pretty much the third act of this movie takes place at the campsite, and it's this woman. Uh, well, whatever. Spoiler alert. She she mouth rapes this guy with her fist. Yeah. And it's it's probably one of the coolest deaths I think a final girl has ever done. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. yeah. She's like totally. No. Yeah. Right the, that that stuff was cool, but this movie. It was made, I believe, before Friday the 13th and Halloween mm -hmm. and all those other slasher films. Like the director said, inside there, he didn't even know what a slasher film was when he made this movie. Mm -hmm. It wasn't categorized yet. It was like right after Halloween. They said, I guess they made this in 79. Yeah. Before Friday the 13th. Right. So there was really nothing to for him to like, I'm going to do it like this. So it was kind of all new mm -hmm. at that right. time. A, lo a lot of it felt guerrilla, like guerrilla filmmaking a little yeah. bit. Well, here's the thing. They had a million dollars to make that movie. So yeah. uh, That's crazy, I, I, would, I would not call that guerrilla filmmaking. That's a good budget. No, no, I'm just yeah. saying like some of the shots, some of the way they, they sort of like threw right. people down a mountain and they rolled and like a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you had you can afford some people, and, <laughs> uh, and we got to meet the director, Jeff Lieberman. Lieberman? Yeah. yeah Jeff and what did you, what did you get right there from him? Because uh, he's like signing stuff. Up, uh, remote control from him. Have him sign that. Really nice. Which get. only he is distributing, apparently. Yeah. yeah it's really rare. Pretty sweet. Also, so uh, rare, no one's ever really heard of it except probably the cover. <laughs> probably. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen the video stories like first yeah, yeah. as a kid, but I've never seen it before. So yeah. I'm happy about it. I'm like a geek. I had to bring my other movies up here too. Where'd you bring? The Blu-ray of Just Before Dawn. Oh, nice. 
code red. That's what I'm talking about. version of it, overseas version two of it. Mm -hmm. Different than this, but it's, it's good. Oh, nice. Is it more boring? <laughs> the drag's a little more. Oh, good. Yeah. Slow burn. I'm glad I exist, so we can watch that. <laughs> and also, uh, the, of course, Blue Sunshine, which movie. is a really good one, yeah, too. Like nice. The LSD kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Really that, cool. That's pretty sweet, dude. I like the music in this, too. The music's really kind of cool. Yeah, like, like, that. The, like whistling. the whistling. Uh, that was cool, too. too. Really good music. Also. Yeah. He has really good music in his movies. Yeah. But anyway, guys, what's the next movie on the docket tonight? It is Mad Men. Mad Men Mars. Yeah, yeah, man. All right, guys, let's go off to see Mad Men, and we'll talk about it afterwards. Alright guys, we just got out of seeing Madman or Madman Mars or whatever you guys want to call it. What did you guys think about the movie? It fucking sucks. What are you talking about? I thought I thought Madman was a little bit more faster paced and a little bit more entertaining than that last one that we saw. That's like saying Lawrence of Arabia is the most fast paced movie ever made. I oh, love no. Lawrence of Arabia, but it's slow. Yeah. This movie is like fucking made by snails. You guys want to give a quick oh, synopsis man. about the movie? You go ahead. Uh, it's uh, the, 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 the one dude in the movie. They, they tell a story about this uh, about this guy, uh, Mad Madman Man Mars. They kill his family and all this stuff. And if you say his name, he might hear you and come after you. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it and is. Not like a Beetlejuice way, just in a stupid. Just say I'm it. sort of a Bigfoot kind He's of like a, a ghost. Bigfoot kind of fucking dude. Or fucking retarded. And, right. Um, they're like campers, you know, kind of like Friday the 13th. Like yeah. camp counselors take care of kids at a cabin. Yeah. And uh, the, the this... head counselor like. Dude that always has like some sort of like weird stuff he always says, that one older yeah. guy always says like a funny saying. Yeah. He leaves, leaves the counselors there to himself. And then as, as soon as that happens, they all start yeah. disappearing one by one. And who's doing the killing? <laughs> Madman Mars! Madman Mars. But I, I really, well, I really... In between the killing, we get this. Bob? Grace? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Joe? Well, well, but... Pete? <laughs> I swear to God, the characters aren't even in the movie. Just yeah. these names. But guys, what, what about that awesome scene inside the hot tub when, oh. every, when everyone's like turning, you know, the, the people kept turning their heads in the hot tub like a little that, that was the best. Like love scene. They were like, oh, little, yeah, like a little twist like, like this. this. There you go. Right, like, yeah, right? they were just like circling each other. Like, like, like this. Let's, 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 you guys are so cute doing it together. It's I like that. Jessica might be jealous. It's like a... That's almost like a shampoo commercial from like the 80s or something. Yeah, like and it's like, like you know, just, just, just fuck her already, goddammit. Yeah, I know, but no, but that, that's the kind of stuff I like in these funny, these crazy 80s movies, you know? Yeah. Now I know why Wes Vance over at DeadPit.com owns a print of this movie, and he shows it at the local theater that he, uh, or used to be open. I know, I, I kind of dig it, and I know the DVD is way out of print now. Yeah, like 70 that's bucks. That. Yeah, that's what we got. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's like yeah. funny, campy cheese, you know. It's, but it's, it's cool. bad writing, bad directing, bad, bad stupid acting. editing, yeah. dumb, dumb everything. Actors are bad, right? Uh, yeah, uh, bad. everything. <laughs> uh, the, the, the acting, the dialogue. There's a little bit uh, top, like there's one nothing, girl There's nothing good about this movie, except the kill at the end. I kind of like, not giving too much away. I liked how that sort of happened. Mm. But then it cuts away from what you think is the conclusion. Yeah, yeah. And then you get this stupid... The, then the movie just goes, hey, we were gonna end cool, it's, it's weird but editing. let me give you a stupid fucking ending. Yeah. That's stupid yeah. and lame. And mm. I don't like Batman. Out of the two <laughs> movies we saw tonight, which one would you say is better from a zero to a ten? Uh, you know, rate, rate, rate both of them. I'm gonna go with seven for uh, Just Before Dawn and uh, two for Mad Men. <laughs> two. Really? Yeah. Two. What about you, Danny? Um, just Before Dawn, give like an eight. I like that one. I like, I like it. You know, it's slow pace, slow burn, but it's cool. I mm -hmm. like it. And uh, Madman, I give it like a like a five. I give it a five. <laughs> All right. It's halfway. It's a five. Okay, yeah, with me, I'm gonna give Just Before Dawn about a four. Just because I, I don't know that the whole slow pace, like them walking in the woods and like you know, this but it's and, suspenseful. Oh, yeah, real suspenseful. <laughs> but for Madman, I'm going to have to give it about a 7. It, it really did enjoy, I enjoyed it a little bit more because the comedy elements in it. But well, I think when they made it, they didn't know they were making it to be funny. You know what I mean? No, okay. I think like that love scene in the, in the jacuzzi, they were really meant to be like, Oh, I love you! Yeah. Like that kind of stuff at the time. But that's what I liked about it, you know? <laughs> All right, guys. We should sign off. Before I do, I want to say congratulations to Luna and John D. Mm -hmm. And the other John. Yeah. They did the, uh, the, the rap song? Yeah. 
Um, they won the Sharkano contest. Look, I brought the poster up. Nice. Uh, awesome. Sharkano Killer. comes out on Friday the 24th. By the time you see this, it's probably going to be out already. Yeah. Um, and you will hopefully put a link to where they could probably... Yeah, right in the it. description box down there. Yeah, right there, wherever this is. Thing. Yeah, man. And, uh, um, yeah, pick it up. It'll be on Amazon and, you know, and Kindle and all that good stuff as well. And nice. You guys got to get it. That's what I'm talking about. The coming soon. Killer. Yeah. And, um, final, final words for today, guys? Um, it was a hell of an evening. Don't touch a stranger's balls. Do not. And uh, don't spend too much time in the jacuzzi while trying to have sex with a girl. Like, yeah. It's way too long. Because it just, just gets weird. Okay, yeah. guys. Bye-bye. Let's go get a little bit. Let's do it. Jesus. You guys are going to get into the car and just have your way with each other while I'm being left alone in this empty movie theater all by myself. <sighs> no! <laughs> Bye-bye, guys.